What's going on everybody and welcome to my channel. In today's episode, I'm going to be starting a new series that I'm going to call the Smoke Shop Setup or the Smoke Shop All-in-One Bag. Right here are two items that I just bought from the local smoke shop. First off, we have a liquid culture. On the packaging, there are some pretty vague directions on how to use it. Overall, pretty decent packaging. We're going to go ahead and open it up and take a look on the inside. At first glance, there seems to be some pretty good mycelium growth on the inside. Overall looks pretty decent. What's left inside the box is a sterilized needle. We're going to go ahead and move on to the box. Inside here is an all-in-one grow bag. On the front of the box, it says that it is a two-pound bag. On the top of the box, there's a little bit of instructions telling you not to throw the box away. On the back side, there's some more vague instructions on how to use the bag. Um, there's some information on the different parts of the bag. Here on the back, it tells you what's inside. It says there is sterilized millet, cocoa coir, vermiculite, gypsum, worm castings, crust oyster shell, and water. And on the inside of the box, first thing we have is an all-in-one bag, vacuum sealed, sealed up pretty tight, looks pretty good all the way around. Set that off to the side, and down at the bottom of the box, it looks like we have an instruction manual. We also have a card for different strains, different varieties. These ones in particular are the ones that I got. This is the company information. We also have a identification card. Might use that. And then we also have a Mylar bag with a dry bag. Oh, and there's an alcohol pad down at the bottom. We'll probably not use that. And down at the bottom, there's a little notice that tells you not to throw the box away, that we're going to be using that later on. All right, first things first, we're going to go ahead and sterilize the area. And I'm going to sterilize all of the items that I'm going to be using today, including the liquid culture. My scissors, the all-in-one bag itself, my hands especially. Next, I'm going to go ahead and cut this open. I'm going to pull the all-in-one bag out and unwrap it. Pretty hard down inside there. I'm just going to break it up a tiny bit. They had it vacuum sealed, so it sucked everything real tight together. But overall, looks like it's in good shape. Looks pretty good. The self-healing injection port is a little different. It's more like a sponge than rubber. Kind of different. But we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and attach my 
sterilized needle to my liquid culture syringe. This I didn't sterilize because it's already pre-sterilized in the package, so it's kind of redundant. Tried to give it a little shake here, but I realized the plunger is just so far out that it's kind of loose in there, so not a good idea. I don't want it to go flying everywhere. Carefully remove the cap. And according to the instructions that came with the all-in-one bag, it says to use between 5 and 6 milliliters per bag, so that's what we're going to do. This particular syringe had 12, so we're going to go ahead with 6. While I'm doing this, don't forget to check out my Instagram for more of my personal madness. Um, there will be some updates potentially, behind the scenes footage, and a little bit about me. So yeah, don't forget to check me out. Link will be down below in the description. And I'm just going to move my syringe all around just to get different inoculation points. Pull the syringe back out. Set that off to the side. After I put the cap back on, of course. And then we're going to mix the bag all up. Make sure everything's down at the bottom. <clears throat> Tear the lid off of this box. Set it down inside, and there you go. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to stay tuned for more, and stay mindful.